Failures love excuses. Failures love to come up with any old nonsense to cover the fact that they're a failure or they're not doing well for themselves. So my girl sent me this post from, I think it was officially Urban. Hopefully it don't get copyrighted or I can't throw it up. I'm gonna throw it up right now so you can see it for yourself. 70% of the millionaires in the United States. Gotta keep working. Left check they gotta check. keep working. They gotta keep working. Wait, so, so, so what? The millionaires. Yeah, they gotta keep working. Are living check to check. check. Yeah. The millionaires, my nigga. So, so because your lifestyle is so expensive and your expenses are so high, like you might be a multimillionaire, but you got a twenty-seven thousand dollar a month mortgage. Yeah. You got six cars. That's, that, that number's disturbing. No, no, that's, no, that's real talk. That's bro. real, bro. So that's that's the meat and potatoes. Yeah. So I always said I was saying I created. And I said um, poor people live check to check, rich people live year to year, wealthy people live generation to generation. That's true. And people always think that the poor people part means lack of income i know a bunch of people on paper they millionaires but they're poor but they live in they need they need a five-day challenge they need this to work because if the minute that stops yo it's bad bro and you know when i saw that i was thinking to myself and i say this all the time i said this bad times before no matter how much money you earn you have to live below your means if you earn 60 grand a year, you have to live like you earn 40. If you earn 200 grand a year, you have to live like you earn 150. If you earn a million a year, you have to live like you earn 800. If you live at your means, you're always gonna be living paycheck to paycheck. And obviously, if you live above your means and that, well, then you're gonna be in debt. You're gonna be in financial trouble. Man are talking about, and this is the thing, man are talking about, oh, 70% of millionaires in the US and that, because that's where they're there from. 70% of US million, millionaires are living paycheck to paycheck. That post there was created and shared amongst the people them. I'm not saying what they're saying is uh, a lie and unfactual. I don't know. I don't really care. Anymore. What I'm saying is that post there was clipped and shared across social media so that broke people feel better at, about being poor. That's the whole reason why them posts there are created and shared amongst the people them. It's so that broke people that are only on 30, 40 grand a year, living paycheck to paycheck, think to themselves, well, if millionaires are living paycheck to paycheck and they, they're at the top tier, they're at the top echelon, they're the highest earners in the country, if they're living paycheck to paycheck, well, then I shouldn't feel so bad about my situation, blood. You should feel bad about your situation as well, blood. But it's just cover, man. It's just excuses. I hear it all the fucking time. Go to people's yards and that. They ask you, why have you moved to this area? I say, because the house prices are cheaper and that. Oh, yeah, I'm thinking of buying a house and I'm thinking of buying this house and that. But, you know, it's about the maintenance on the property and, uh, you know, if the boiler breaks down, it can be expensive. Blood, get fucking house insurance. You get emergency cover. They'll cover your fucking boiler, blood. Oh, my YouTube channel is not growing because of shadow ban. More cover, more excuses for not having a flourishing, popping YouTube channel. My, ch my channel is not popping, it's not flourishing. But, but you don't ever hear me talk about Shadow Bam. Never. I don't know why it's not popping, but I'm certainly not going to put it down to fucking Shadow Bam. One mixed race thing. Oh, the reason why my um, Instagram page is not growing and I can't make money as a uh, successful influencer and a uh, Instagram curvy plus size model on that is because I'm a melanated girl. I look black, although I'm mixed race. Oh yeah, because Amira Dime is, is, is not doing too well. Fucking, was it Ravi Low? So all of these tick things, yeah, on Instagram and that, that are black or mixed race, but they look black. Yeah, they're not doing well on that because of their melanated skin. More cover, more fucking excuses, blood. People them love excuses for being lazy. Oh, I don't work smart. I don't work hard, I work smart. What do you mean you don't work hard, you work smart? So basically what you're saying is you figured out a way to do nine hours work in three hours. So what are you gonna do? You're gonna do nine hours work in three hours and what, take six hours off and just do fuck all. If you figured out a way to do nine hours work in three hours, then do nine hours work and get 27 hours worth of work completed in a day then. Excuses, 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 man. Oh, I'm a black man, so this is why I'm a failure. Generational curse. What, what are you talking about, generational curse? Do you see a generational curse 
in front of you watching this video right now, my brother. No. Like I said plenty of times, I love to have a crystal ball. I love to know where my life would be if I felt like, oh, because I'm a black man, it's going to be three times as hard as the white man. Bullshit, blood. Man, I'm talking about, oh, the reason why I've been uh, working at TGI Fridays for six years and I never got a promotion because I'm a black man. What are you doing there in the first place? You understand what I'm trying to say? Just dumb. So many excuses. Well, I can't believe they're really... Because that, that video there... Obviously, I left a comment underneath it basically saying that this post has been created and shared. Well, obviously, the, post, the, the video has been clipped and shared across the social media and that it's so that broke people and the people them that uh, that own the officially urban they're probably in the broke category as well i don't know but let's say or whatever in it they've clipped that and shared it across social media so that broke people watching it feel like oh well you know if the people at the top of the echelon the top tier people the richest people and that if they're struggling then if i'm struggling then it is what it is in it yeah nah fam we we'll love excuses all cover uh, money is the root of all evil that is an excuse to be fucking broke my brother so what you're saying is the reason why I am poor is because I don't want to be rich because that makes me a bad person that is the root of all evil that same post talking about 70% of millionaires live paycheck there was some idiot that come underneath the comment section talking about Oh, you know, um, being wealthy is not the be all and end of all this nonsense and that. I'm rich spiritually and all this. What do you mean you're rich spiritually, blood? Any people here yeah, that you hear talking about, oh, I'm not rich financially, but I'm rich in love and rich spiritually. I have family and friends around me and that. But you never hear someone send me some videos where you've got rich celebrities, Drake, Chris Brown, all these people, Kim Kardashian, that, all these people that are talking about, oh, I'm rich spiritually and that. The only reason why you're saying rich spiritually because you know you ain't rich financially. Never heard Alan Sugar. I've never heard Donald Trump. I've never heard none of these people talk about they are rich spiritually, blood. It's always the broke people that are rich spiritually. Talking about this spiritual shit. You've got so much church goers, these church people, these religious people and that. Saying, that, oh, you know, when the right time, when the time is right, God is going to make me financially free and that. Blood, that is an excuse to sit down and wait for someone to fucking fix your problems. No one is going to fucking fix your problems, especially as a man. If you're a man right now, no one is going to knock on your door and say, come, look, I've got this way to make money. Yeah, no, you might, you might have a man phone you up and say, yo, I'm going to bring you down on this one time. If you don't act, if you don't get up, a man's just going to leave you sitting down, blood. That's shit, blood. Relying on... This, 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 I'm telling you, this is why these spiritually, spiritual people, these religious people will forever stay broke. Because they feel like they need to rely on a higher power to fix their problems. Just like people that believe in politics and like really, oh yeah, we need to put this person in power and shit like that. Because they feel like, oh, Rishi Sunak or whoever's in charge at the time, David Cameron, Gordon Brown, Liz, whoever. They feel like, oh, we need to elect this person because they're going to make my life better. Blood, since I've been alive, I've seen Tony Blair. I've seen David Cameron. I've seen Boris Johnson. Was it at least Trust Woman? She was on the air for like a few days and that. Um, who was the other woman before? I can't remember all these different politicians and that running the country and that. My life has been good and bad due to my uh, decisions. It's got nothing to do with who the fuck was in power, blood. People thought, oh, when Obama came into power, yeah, black on black crime is going to completely come to a stop. No way. No way. If black on black crime was here, it may have went down by this much or up by a little bit. But by and large, it makes no, it made no fucking difference having Obama in power, blood. You should not need to have a man. You know, mixed race people are mixed race to me. They're not black, but... Anyway, let's just play, I'm going to play devil's advocate and say, okay, yeah, make sure people are black for this video, yeah? You should not need to have a black president for you to know and believe that you can make something of yourself. I do not need to see a black politician. 
I don't need to see any black people in the House of Parliament to know and believe that I can make something of myself. I don't need to see anyone doing it. I'll be the fucking first, blood. That's my mentality. If other people have done it, okay, it is definitely possible. If no one else has done it before, I'll be the first. That's my mentality, blood. You gotta have a strong mindset. You can have all the health, all the looks, all the money in the world. If you don't have a strong mindset, you have nothing, blood. Because inevitably, bad things are gonna happen in your life. If you don't have a strong mindset, you're gonna break. You're gonna crumble, blood. You gotta have a strong mindset. And a strong mindset comes from being disciplined. Doing the shit that you don't want to do, but you have to do it anyway. Or else you'll feel like a fool. Said it many times, said it again. Uh, I don't like going running. I never get excited about going running. But motherfucker, I'm going running every other day. That's discipline. Doing the stuff that you're not motivated to do, but you still get it done anyway. You've got to train your mind to be tough. When you're sick, mentioned this in the video before, when you're a little bit unwell, you got the flu, still go running, still go swimming, still go boxing, whatever, any, whatever training you do, still do it. Yeah, take it a little bit easy, but still go. Train your mind that even when you're at your weakest, you can still complete your task and that. That will save you when you're on your rascal like deathbed, you know, I'm telling you. Because you, you're developing the mentality of, I don't give up. Even when I'm at my weakest, I don't give up. That's it for today, man. I've got to go back to Russ Clark work. Stay wise. Done, though.